It's been an amazing year for Scottish hip hop with so many quality events and releases. It's still not the most publicised of scenes, so I'm going to run through three albums that dropped this year that may have gone under your radar. First up is Rainy Days by Kieran Mack. Every Scottish kid is hot as spitting spot, the difference going to be a problem like you've lost your ticklers. So get blogging this, like Mr. Bowles, I represent the bogging bits and step on those who disrespect the provinces. Kids without the intellect to bother us, better fetch your horners if you're testing, kids will kick you up the orifice. I've been bigging this guy up for quite a while because I think he's honestly one of the most talented young MCs this country has ever produced. The production on this album is crazy with beats from guys like Cuts Cobain, that's Cuts Cobain, and Steg G, who's a Sunny Govan radio legend. But what really makes this album impressive to me is the quality of the rhymes. The way Kieran flows and plays with syllables is ridiculously impressive. My next pick is Solitude by an Edinburgh producer called Daryl Donald. Other than vocal samples, um, this album is entirely instrumental and what makes this so enjoyable is the range of styles that he covers. There are laid back jazzy kind of cuts with lots of reverb but there's also these really sort of dreamy soulful tracks with amazing sort of string samples. If you're into guys like Jay Dilla, uh, MF Doom, Damaru the Fudge Monk, I definitely recommend checking this guy out. My third choice is the Teriyaki Tape by Carpenter and Susan. When the dinner tastes bland, the eyes drop a little. I cough and drop the fiddle. Clamber from the roof, I saw the water ripple. Vomiting prerogative with hardly any purpose. Yes, I lost a little. Vitrified and subsequently fragile, so I thought to pillows. I think this is the one that's most interesting. He's got this stream of consciousness style that's really engaging and kind of takes you on a journey. Sue Sands beats remind me of another Scottish producer called Lamplighter, who folks should also check out. They're kind of eerie and minimalist, and it makes an interesting departure from a lot of other Scottish hip-hop that you tend to hear. 